In lesson nine, we'll take a look at how to create a pivot table template. And this is nothing more than simply saving your pivot table structure as a workbook template or the file that it's in as a workbook template so that you may replace the data with other data and not have to recreate the pivot table structure. Now, in a very quick lesson nine, we're gonna look at another time-saving technique related to pivot tables where you can essentially save your pivot table structure as a template. Now, that's not to say that there's actually a feature of Excel where you literally save the pivot table as a template. Really, this is nothing more than saving the workbook as a template. The general idea, though, is that if you've designed a pivot table and have spent a lot of time structuring the table, perhaps building charts on that table, a slicer to filter the data, perhaps a timeline to break the data down by various references to dates. This is all work that you might not want to have to recreate for a different data set. So simply put, you can activate the pivot tables features by clicking in the pivot table and from the analyze tab of the ribbon in 2013 or the options tab in Excel 2010 or previous versions of Excel, you can activate the pivot tables source area by clicking the change source data button. And from the change pivot table data source window, I would need only redirect this pivot table source reference to a different list or a different table. Now, what you can't do is delete this information. If you attempt to delete it and click OK, you will get an error that this is an invalid source. But by simply opening the data source of an existing pivot table and redirecting its source to a different list or a different table, you can essentially keep the design of your pivot table you've already created yet have it reflect the summary information of a different data source. You could, of course, also then take that whole file and from a Save As command, save that as an Excel workbook template. Here, when I click the Browse button in the Save As screen of Excel 2013, I could choose to save this particular file as a template. And in doing so, I could open up the same file time and time again with my pivot table already designed, and again, just simply redirect its reference to a different data source. This would allow me to very easily update an existing pivot table with new data. Now, if you don't want to update an existing pivot table, also know this. It is very easy to take an existing pivot table, copy it, go to a new sheet or an entirely new workbook file altogether, paste, and essentially have an exact replica of your original pivot table. Only this is not linked to the original pivot table, so that once again, I could select a different data source, let's say 2014 data, for the copy of the pivot table that I've now produced. So again, by taking an existing pivot table, copying it, and replacing the data source to that of a different data source, I can now, again, use my original pivot table as a template for new pivot tables to come.